Paget's disease of the breast. It is a rare manifestation of the breast cancer. That is, it is present in the breast cancer in up to 1 to 4 percent of the cases. It was first described by the Sir James Paget in 1874. So that is why the disease is called as the Paget's disease. This disease presents as a unilateral erythematous eruption with scaling and crusting formation. Pruritus is common. Pruritus meaning itching. The lesion of this Paget's disease may be mistaken for the eczema. A palpable mass is present in cases of 50 to 60 percent of the women with this disease and if the palpable mass is present the Paget's disease will be associated with underlining invasive carcinoma. Women without the palpable mass they have only DCIS and the carcinomas are usually poorly differentiated with the estrogen receptor negative and they overexpress the HER2 gene. The Paget's disease is always associated with underlining carcinoma of the breast in which the intraepidermal extension of the malignant ductal epithelial cells passes through the lactiferous ducts and these ductules opens into the epidermis without crossing the basement membrane. Here the malignant cells disrupt the normally present tight squamous epithelial cell barrier as you can see it in this diagram which allows the extracellular fluid to seep out and that forms oozing and scaly crust as in this diagram. Here you can see the scaly crust on the skin surface which is formed by the extravasation of the extracellular fluid because of the damage of the tight squamous epithelial cell barrier. Coming to the morphology, the nipple skin is present with scaling crust and the erythema and exudate resembling a chronic eczema. The nipple also may have ulceration. In the microscopy, we see the cells which are called as the Paget cells. They are single cells or seen in clusters spread throughout the epidermis. These cells have abundant pale cytoplasm with irregular large nucleus and prominent nucleoli. We see the epidermis with the ulceration and the scales and the underlining dermis is present with chronic inflammation. And as we already said, the epidermis is with hyperkeratosis and ulceration. The Paget cells and the underlining ductal carcinoma cells shows positive oncogene that is the HER2 gene. These Paget cells are derived from the glandular stem cells or the epidermal toker cells. The toker cells are also present in about 10% of the normal nipples. They contain prominent cell cytoplasm and are considered benign counterparts of the Paget cells. So remember these toker cells are also present in the normal nipples that is for about 10 percent and these are the benign counterparts of the Paget cells. The clinical features of the Paget's disease if there is a long history of the eczematous skin lesions or persistent dermatitis in the nipple and around the nipple with these following features then it can be a most probable case of a Paget's disease. So the clinical features here will be erythema, scaling, itching that is the puritis, the burning sensation, ulceration, oozing out of seroanginous discharge and bleeding. So in case of any of these following symptoms, you should go check a doctor for the possible diagnosis and treatment. So guys, this is all about the Paget's disease of nipple. If you like this lecture, do subscribe to my channel.